It's never too late to change your life. If you don't believe me, go look through my Twitter, read through some of that shit, and uh, just follow along on the journey I've been on over the last couple of years. So I've had a pretty interesting couple of years here where I was kind of sleepwalking through life, just like a lot of you guys probably are. I spent a lot of my time doing a, you know, mediocre work. I would casually work out, but I'd never push myself, and I was eating like junk. I was living for the weekend. I would get done with work, I'd go home, I'd watch Netflix, play PlayStation, drink beer on the weekends, watch football. You know, pretty boring, pretty standard life. Nothing too exciting. But if you've been following me, you know that that's no longer the way I live. And if that description there is anything familiar to you that sounds like the way you've been living your life and you want to make a change, now's the time. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, read an excerpt from my book here. Uh, just released a few days ago, Reclaim Your Manhood. And uh, it's my first book. And I'm remarkably happy with it. I It started with a really subtle simple little outline and it just came together really nicely it's short it's concise and it's full of a lot of actionable advice that young men need today um so if it's not for you maybe you have a brother son friend somebody in your life could use this book you'd be doing me a solid if you give them a copy of this and you'd be doing them a solid anyway here is um Here's one little excerpt from it here, and uh, just to give you a, a little free sample. A man is tough and can take the punches this life gives. Failure is a learning opportunity on the way to a life of excellence. Show me a man that never fails, and I'll show you a man that never pushes the envelope. The most pivotal moments in my life revolved around failures. These moments guided me on my path into becoming the man I am today. It is never too late to change your life. What can you do today to improve yourself? Be persistent and militant with this change and you won't recognize yourself in one year's time. What separates excellence from mediocrity is that persistence. Mediocre people will try a new habit but give up too quickly. You must remain persistent over weeks or even months before you begin to see results. This is true with weight loss, exercise, writing, and nearly everything in your life. So many men will make great strides of progress and then let it all fall apart when life throws a hurdle at them. I've been guilty of this myself. In the past, I would make excuses like I'm in my busy season at work or I have too much stress in my life right now. Then I went through a brutal divorce and found out the true meaning of busy season and stress. You know what else I discovered? That all those excuses were a bunch of bullshit keeping me weak. During the most stressful and busy time of my life, I hit the gym multiple times a week with no excuses. I would work out and talk to my lawyer at the same time on occasion. I also was raising my son and I took up writing during this period of my life. Though I had plenty of tasks to op occupy my time, I was simply spending my time much more productively. It is in these moments when you need your mental and physical toughness the most. The truly resilient man recognizes that mental toughness is nothing without physical toughness and vice versa. Life is going to throw adversity at you and how you handle it will define your resilience and your true character. The older I get, the smaller my problems seem. I remember getting upset about a $900 auto repair bill in my early 20s. Well, earlier this year, I had an unexpected maintenance bill for $3,000. The $3,000 bill bothered me less than the $900 bill. Yes, I'm making more money now, but I've also changed my mindset. And in the grand scheme of things, these hurdles don't really matter. They're a part of life, and that means you must prepare for life's little emergencies. The average American is living by the skin of their teeth, going paycheck to paycheck. But they aren't working on a side gig to supplement their income. 
They have the sports package on their TV and spend too much time and money on drugs or alcohol, yet they'll complain that they can't seem to get by. These people will sooner take handouts than give up their little pleasures that they feel entitled to. Reclaim your manhood and prepare for your own future. Part of the issue here may be that you or these people aren't pushing themselves at work. So many will clock in and clock out doing the bare minimum. If you're willing to go the extra mile, it puts you above the average worker. Like I said, it's pretty actionable advice. It's, um, it's helpful. It's something a lot of men need to hear. Um, I see a lot of people in my life and in just out when I'm walking around that are, they're sleepwalking through life. And I see it because I lived it. You know, I, um, I struggled a lot in school, not in the way typical people do. Um, I was too smart and I, and I couldn't learn how to do ordinary things that most people take for granted. You know, I never learned how to study and I was in college when I first started to, to learn it because everything was too easy for me. So I had straight A's in high school. I scored well on the ACT and then I went to the University of Illinois. And if you're questioning how smart I was, or am, um, I, I got into the school to study actuarial sciences. And most of you probably don't know what that is, but basically it's the nerdy fucking loser. I'm just kidding. They're not all losers, but they are nerdy. Um, the nerdy guy who punches numbers and tries to figure out what kind of rates insurance companies need to set to make sure they make money. And... Um, well, that whole thing's a story for another day that I'll, I'll show for now, but I decided not to pursue that career. And I'm, I thank God every day that I didn't cause I would have been miserable. But, um, my point that I'm trying to make here is I'm kind of ranting and rambling here is, um, I was sleepwalking through life and it took this ugly ass divorce to shake me out of it. So I'm doing you a favor now and I'm shaking you out of it for a lot cheaper than I got off. You know, right now you can buy the ebook for six bucks or the paperback for $8. That's my intro price. And I'm, I'm doing you guys a favor. I'm not really making that much on the paperback by the way. Um, but I want to, I want to get into the hands of a few of my most, uh, loyal supporters and the guys have been following me for the longest. And, uh, I think next Monday or so, I'm going to bump the price up at least a couple bucks or so. Um, at least on the paperback, I'll probably bump the Kindle or ebook version up a little bit too, but go out and grab that book if you haven't already. And, uh, it'll help you out. It'll give you a lot of guidance. It'll give you some structure that you probably need. And if you're not much of a book reader, it's not that long. It's real short and sweet. You know, I don't need to add filler content in there. And I could have. I, I This is fucked up. But I wrote a 35,000 word um, book that would have been much longer. And I wasn't happy with it. So I've been kind of tinkering and playing around with it. And honestly, it may never see the light of day. But in the meantime, I wrote this book. And even though it wasn't as long as I liked... It was much better. So if I'm going to release something, I want it to be quality. And uh, I'm really proud of it. And it's got it's got a five-star review right now. So um, and I know it's only one, but it just came out also. But if, if you like it and if you enjoy my stuff, you'd be doing me a favor if you'd uh, give me a review too. I'd, I'd really appreciate that. So I'm, I'm a new author here. And I know a lot of you guys on Twitter and on my website that recognize me, but there's probably some new people that are going to stumble on this book, um, especially as I start doing some ads. So getting a couple of uh, reviews from people that actually kind of know me would would really help me out. And this book will really help you out. So, gentlemen, reclaim your manhood. Thanks for listening.